hopes of encouraging voting, decreasing wait times at polling sites, and reducing voter ID issues at polling stations. Registration, voter registration will be available um, as we do this on the 20th. Voter registration will be available here on site. Voters make their choices when they use the new machines by pressing a touch screen, then print their ballot where they can confirm their selections before casting the ballot at the ballot box. The paper ballots can be audited and recounted. The demonstration will be here in this room, the screening room. Um, and the Secretary of State Election Staff and Voting Ambassadors will also be available to answer general questions about using the machines. And the hours for that will be um, from noon, excuse me, yes, noon to 4 p.m. on January 20th. But we're also starting it on next Thursday, January 16th through the 19th prior to the 20th from noon to 7 p.m. Again, it, the, it starts January 16th through 19th, noon to 7 p.m., and then on the King holiday from noon to 4 p.m. I had an opportunity to go through the demonstration myself uh, with Reverend Timothy McDonald, uh, with Mary Pat Hector and others down at the Secretary of State's office, and we have to prepare people um, so that uh, there will not be any uh, difficulties as we face this election with everything that's been going on around voting. Um, and then I'm excited about a new project we are undertaking here at the King Center. Um, and I want to invite you uh, right after this press conference to uh, go over um, and experience it. We are unveiling a new interactive March for Humanity exhibit. If you remember back in 2018 when we commemorated the 50th anniversary of my father's uh, assassination, we had an actual March for Humanity on April 9th, which was the day that um, he was entombed, funeralized and entombed here in Atlanta in 1968. We commemorated that um, here in Atlanta with a March for Humanity 50 years later. Visitors to the King Center will be able to take a digital footstep journey along an energy-producing walkway to demonstrate their support of social justice. Every footstep will be counted through an interactive monitor and a unique smartphone app developed by Tribal Planet. When you walk across the towels, it measures your steps, shows how many steps you need to power a cell phone, for instance, power a car, for instance. So this is super exciting. Beyond the passive social media experience of a simple like, the March for Humanity experience will give individuals a digital platform to take action in the real world where they can demonstrate that every footstep counts in the March for Humanity just as every human being counts. Pavagen is the company that makes the digital sidewalks. They have dozens of global locations, so people around the world will soon be able to participate in the March for Humanity throughout 2020. And so again, media uh, and guests are welcomed today to experience the virtual March for Humanity uh, in Freedom Hall. And last, is it, have I covered it all? <laughs> oh yes, uh, not last. Remember, I'm a preacher. <laughs> we have 12 closes. <laughs> um, on the King holiday, we also have our two hour introduction to nonviolence to kind of people, get people uh, interested in doing further um, education and training with our two day. We have our two hour that will take place, I believe, from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. at the Promise Center on the west side and uh, the other location will be at Spelman College on their campus. Um, and people are encouraged definitely to register for that so we know um, how many people to anticipate. And it's free, F-R-E-E. -E. Um, if you go, how many people need to go to the movies? Probably everybody. Everybody go to the movies, including y'all in the media? Well, from January 3rd through February 6th, we have a wonderful partnership with AMC Theaters. We've been working 
um, with them now for about a uh, close to a year. Um, they are running for us in support of the King Center of PSA. So it will be running in all of their theaters throughout the nation. And so if you happen to go to, to the movie from January 3rd to February 6th, get there about 10 or 15 minutes before the start time, and you'll be able to see uh, that PSA. And we want to thank them for their support. And we also want to thank our, all of our sponsors for our Salute to Greatness uh, Gala. Um, and I'm looking for that list. I want to thank uh, Delta Airlines. I want to thank uh, Kia. I want to thank uh, Coca-Cola. I want to thank um, um, uh, Chick-fil-A. I want to thank uh, Home Depot. I want to thank Target. I want to thank FedEx. I want to thank the Ford Motor Company uh, Fund. Um, I think I mentioned Chick-fil-A and all other corporations who are supporting us uh, with the Salute to Greatness Gala. I think that wraps it up, and I'm going to toss it to Judy Forte, who will now come and share with you what the Martha King National Historical Park will be doing for this King holiday 2020. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you.